Meanwhile, Louisiana softball is poised heading into the Baton Rouge Regional. The Cajuns boast a 12 game win streak, including a seven game stretch of allowing no more than one run. All of this while starting four true freshmen and three sophomores, which to some could be a disadvantage, but not a big deal to Jerry Glasgow. We got what we got, we got to play. And at this point in the season, you're a softball player. You're not really, it doesn't matter what you are, senior, sophomore, junior, you're a softball player. And our softball players have to play better than our opponents. One of those young stars is center fielder Maya Davis, who has played a pivotal role in the outfield. The freshman is perfect in fielding percentage thus far, but has saw her play at the bat slip a bit during the conference tournament. Davis went one of nine at the plate with that lone hit coming in the quarterfinals against ULM. But once again, it doesn't concern Coach Glasgow. She loves the big moment. Like she loves these big moments and she's going to love this regional and she's played well on that field. So, uh, you know, we just, she and, and even though she didn't make the impact with her bat, she made the impact, impact with her defense, with that catch, the throw. She's there every day and her impact in our clubhouse and her swagger. She got a, she provides a lot of silent swagger leadership. You know, the kids just look up to her and they feed off of her. Davis and UL face the champions of the Summit League in Omaha first on Friday at 2. LSU then will battle off with Prairie View A&M at 5 o'clock. The winners and losers then meet in games on Saturday. Now this is a double elimination regional, so we could possibly see UL and LSU meeting up two, three times.